we're already seeing all kinds of just really, really dumb stuff happening on the market as the, as the major kicks off. So I wanted to look at some of the dumbest things I've seen so far. First of all, you may have noticed that Greyhound had a shocking upset victory. Now, I kind of had to eat crow over this one. I literally tweeted out assuming that they'd lost. I tweeted this out assuming they'd lost. Didn't work out. Um, as you can see, I'm very, very proud of my countrymen. I'm so, so happy they won that. I obviously value the success of fellow Australians more than my pickums. But in response to that, the price of the Greyhound Hollow skyrocketed. Look at that. It went up from 60 cents to $7.30 and then crashed right back down. So I don't know who it is buying these at like $7.30. There aren't even that many on the market. It wasn't that many people. I don't know who's buying them at this price, but obviously that's a bad idea. Like guys, guys. Seriously, who who buys them at that price? That's so dumb. That's so dumb. By the way, I did some extrapolation. You know, so they went up 300% immediately after the victory. So if Greyhound go on to win the major, just, you know, extrapolating that trend, the, the sticker should get to $163,000. I think it's realistic. Trust the numbers, not your guts, after all. But that's not the only bit of stupidity I've seen on the market. There is another very, very dumb thing I've seen. So Game of Legion are a team. They've done certainly better than expected so far, but before the major even started, this happened. So the sticker was at like, what, five cents? Then it goes up to $1.27. By the way, this has nothing to do with um their performance at the major too. This is before the major started. The major didn't start to about 13 hours after this price spike happened. Somebody came through and bought them all. But 472 sold compared to like, like 16. Either way though, there is something Far, far worse that I am a bit disappointed about. Just check out the souvenirs. I wish Valve would change this. We're going to open the souvenir. You'll see exactly what I'm not happy about in a second. You'll know what it's going to be. Okay, so this is a souvenir. Uh, Vertigo sticker, two team stickers, and an Intel Extreme Master sticker. No signature. No, it's, it, there's, no, there's no autographs on them again. And they... The souvenirs just feel like any other skin when they don't have that autograph. They're like any other skin except slightly worse. So I'm so disappointed. Like, why can't they bring them back and find some system that makes them interesting? Because it just feels like without the signatures, the souvenirs just aren't souvenirs. 